Hey yo, what's going on guys? We're back here with another video. In today's video, Ian and I'm wearing glasses for a change. I don't really wear contacts, but yeah, today I had them in this morning. I went, had a, did like a pull aerobic session today with, at the gym. Took them out and I've just been way too lazy to put them back in. So yeah, that's how my day has been going. I see my mirrors have been moved out. I don't know. But anyway, so we are currently sitting in Beast, the Germany. Kind of just make a little bit of a video. There's nothing really new that I can speak about Beast. Um, yeah. There's nothing that I really would like. I could really say about him though that I really should be saying because there's nothing yeah there's nothing really new that's happened to be shit I finally finished the first time of my trick today's well today's supposed to be my last day well technically there's supposed to be like 30 minutes left of school for this term but I took this day um, I stayed home today because of the fact that what they were doing is not something that really would affect me. Or something that I'd really want to go do. Plus, trying at home from school today. Yeah. But anyway, so today there's been not really much I've been doing. Um, yeah, I want to kind of go on a little bit of driving beast, but the drop prices are expensive. But I ain't gonna say anything just yet because next month's even worse. Yeah. And the best part is Beast doesn't sh show me what his fuel consumption sits at. So, it's even a bit worse. So, according to the Suzuki, according to Suzuki for a 2017 Suzuki Jimny manual, it is 7.2 litres per every 100 k's. I don't know if I'm doing 7.2 litres. I think I'm doing more than that. So, then some two is I don't drive enough in Beast the moment to really figure that out and i've got this new app i've just downloaded to try to figure it out but i have not really been able to log anything in yet because i haven't been able to go to the petrol station in order to log up and see how much i've actually just put into the vehicle so yeah okay this app will never be 100 percent accurate mm, i will never ever say it will be same but the same time too is it will give me a rough estimate of what the vehicle is sitting at. Um, so basically, I'm a 40 litre engine in here, and then when I get to the petrol station, it, I'll put in my mileage that my odometer says I've got, and then I'll put up how many litres I put in, say if it's a full tank or whatever. So then I'll sort that off on the next one when I fill it up, um, which should be hopefully, not really, hopefully soon, because we still got a full tank. I believe, let's turn the radio, here yeah, Beast still got a full tank, now we're 32,377 kilometers on the clock at the moment, yeah, so I've got, so I don't, I've got a full tank, but I don't really have a full, full tank, um, but the tank is full, basically, it's not fully full to have driven out some of it, but not a lot yet, um, yeah, and Beast just doesn't have you like an, um, you know, like a gauge that shows of such that actually moves according to what the thing is. It's actually that accurate. It's basically blocks it like, okay, cool. It works in like a ratio. Okay, the tank is, so you got full tank, dunk, first line, first block goes off. You know, doesn't really show you exactly how, exactly how full the vehicle is. So anyway, you can really see this via filling up. And also doesn't show you what your fuel consumption range is and what your driving range is. So yeah, your petrol, your tank slot's getting empty, you better start finding a petrol station to fill up with. But yeah, surprisingly, this Jimny is more expensive. Not really. Well, if we take off, you know, what this vehicle should be doing, what I think it is doing, the 7.2, but I need to first actually make W show in that one. I think I maybe use 7.2. 
I'm gonna say I'm, I'll do 7.6 at least in this vehicle. But yeah, can't really say. I don't. I don't think I use eight. But yeah, but this cheaps run than than say my parents two Rav fours. What according to the stats are, and they've got a bigger engine than mine. But anyway. But yeah, so here's beast really. Petrol is really expensive. We're gonna all go broke. I think I might have. To, I think I might even be you know. This point your people will be selling you know your Kruger rands and your cryptocurrency for petrol you know who the heck knows well yeah so nothing really much else is there to really talk about inside of the beast himself or what mods are going to be coming to beast and there's a couple of nice things i've seen that i really would like for beast same time too is i need other things first like i said my next thing has to be radial cups if it ain't radial cups I don't know what the hell then I decided to buy. And if it's something I did buy, I'm very stupid to buy it. Or maybe depending on what it is first. But yeah, so yeah, if it's maybe something I've been given or won in the competitions, that will be a, that's an exception. But besides that, my money's definitely going to trade your cups. Yeah. Problem is you can't find any YouTube video of all the how to install them. It seems very basic and straightforward. You go underneath the vehicle, you remove the bolt between, you know, the bracket and the radial arm. You put, you line that back up, you put the cup back, in the, you know, the radial cup protector over it. Throw the bolt back through, tighten the bolts up, and you should be good to go. But, yeah. It seems easy, but I don't know how that was going to go. I've not paid any attention to anything that has happened with the thing. I do not know how to install it. Like I said, that's how I see it's supposed to be going. Yeah. But anyway, Beast is doing okay. I'm doing mentally okay at the moment. I've got a lot of homework for holidays. Which I would like which I'm trying to get finished now at least before I have to focus on a bit later. I actually enjoy a bit of my holiday. So I'm probably going to spend my first week holiday either chilling or I'm going to be spending it just working. Then then depending on which week I do decide to relax, other week will be spent working. And if I can just chill both weeks, that would be even more better. And my phone is going mad. But yeah, I don't really have much to talk about in today's video. I might have one or two more things to talk about in a later video, but nothing thus far in time. So yeah, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy this video. Random nonsense. Hopefully you can see my face. I just realized the camera is pointing quite downwards. Yeah, it should be okay. But yeah, if you haven't already gone there, subscribe and ring the notification button if you like this video. Yeah, these holidays I'm going to try push to get lots of videos recorded. I'm going to try average at least two videos a day. And then, you know, record it. Editing, on the other hand, DR. Yeah. Even recording the video, I don't know. Sometimes it takes longer to edit than it is to record for me. And the other times vice versa. Normally the recording is the easier, quicker part, the editing, even though editing, I just chuck everything into the software, I check everything's okay, change one or two things up, do a little bit of trimming on it, and I just let that go, because I don't really have time to focus with any special effects just of yet, but it will all come. But if you haven't already, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification, and of course like this video, we shall see you in this video, peace.